Nerd. Check out KalamKidsLearning.com for products and extra educational resources. Assalamu alaikum, young scientists. Today, we're going to do a really fun experiment called the oozing volcano. Wait, do you know what a volcano is? A volcano is a special kind of mountain that can explode! Whoa! It's really, really hot inside of a volcano. So hot that rocks melt into a super hot liquid called magma. And when there's too much magma builds up inside the volcano, it wants to get out, so it erupts! Like a big explosion! And when magma, super hot, liquidy rocks, comes out of a volcano, we now call it lava. When lava leaves the volcano and gets exposed to cool air, it now hardens and creates new land and changes the way the earth looks. So cool! Remember, magma is when the super hot liquidy rocks is inside the volcano. And then when it comes out, we call it lava. So cool! Let's watch a video of a volcano erupt. Whoa! Do you see all that lava coming out of the volcano? That sure looks hot. Oh, look over there, look over there. There's so much magma inside the volcano. Wow, subhanAllah. Let's pretend that these two cans are volcanoes. And one volcano is sitting in cold, cold, ice cold water. And the other one is sitting in hot, hot, hot water. Ouch! hot. What do you think is going to happen when I open the cans? Let's try it together. But first, I need my safety goggles because I don't want my eyes to get hurt. Oh no, where are my safety goggles? Where are they? Oh no, I can't find... Oh, they're on my head. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's open the cold volcano first. Okay. Do you think it's going to explode? Oh, no! Oh, nothing happened. Hmm. I wonder if the volcano sitting in hot, hot, hot water is going to explode. Okay. Bismillah! Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? The can that was sitting in a bowl of hot, hot, hot water exploded from the heat. It overflowed! Hey, that's kind of like a volcano. In a volcano, the heat is causing the pressure. Remember, magma is really, really, really hot. But what's causing the magma to be hot? Hmm. Let's use this egg to help us understand the layers of the earth. Let's pretend this egg is the earth and it has so many layers just like the earth. The shell is the outer layer of the earth called the crust. 
whoa. And it's really thin and really hard. Let's peel the crust and see what we can find underneath. I'm gonna peel away the crust. I see another layer. Aha, I found another layer. It's soft and squishy, kind of like the mantle of the earth. The mantle of the earth is really important for volcanic eruption because that's where all the magma is. Now, if we go further in, I wonder what we will find. Look what I found. The center of the earth is called the core. Kind of like the yellow yolk inside the egg. The core is really important because that's what's creating heat. The core is creating more heat to melt more rocks, to create more magma. And when there's too much magma built up inside the volcano, it erupts. But did you know that it's not just science? This is Allah's creation that we're discovering. Hmm. Can you put on your binoculars? What do you see around you that Allah has created? I see birds outside and some trees. What do you see? Wow, subhanallah. When we see something so amazing that Allah has created, we say, Subhanallah. Can you say that with me? Subhanallah. Allah says in the Quran, Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa khtila fi al-layli wa al-nahari la ayati li'uli al-alba. Indeed, in the creations of the heavens and the earth, in the alternation of night and day are signs for those of understanding. Allah has made everything with balance and purpose. Now, what's the purpose of a volcano? It seems kind of dangerous. Well, Allah made everything with a purpose. Volcanoes make healthy, enrich soil for plants to grow. That's why whenever you go somewhere with a volcano, you can always find the most beautiful plants or most delicious fruits and vegetables like bananas, avocados, and papaya. Another purpose for volcanoes is when they erupt, they add new land and change the way the earth looks completely. Did you know that there's also volcanoes deep, deep, deep inside the ocean? And when they erupt, that's how an island is formed. A piece of land floating in the middle of the ocean. That's so cool. Allah created everything with balance and purpose. Even the small little bubbles or reactions we can't see. So let's remember when we do this experiment that science helps us discover Allah's wonderful creation. I wonder if we snap our fingers three times if we could transport to a volcano. Do it with me. One, two, three! Whoa! Take cover! Huh. 
This is not very safe. We got to get out of here. Let's nap three times so we can get back to the lab. One, two, three. <sighs> Since it's not very safe to be near an erupting volcano, let's make our own erupting volcano. What time is it? Experiment time. For this experiment, you're gonna need a volcano. But if you don't have a volcano, you can just use a clear cup. Next, you're gonna need baking soda and vinegar. And to make things a little bit more fun, some food coloring. Which food coloring do you think I should use? Which one reminds you of lava? The red one, right? Let's use the red food coloring. First, I'm going to put vinegar inside my volcano. Next, I'm gonna add some red food coloring. I'm gonna mix that around. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna add some baking soda in with the vinegar. What do you think is gonna happen? Is it going to erupt? Whoa, I need to stop saying that word. Okay. Here we go. Come closer. Closer. Bismillah. the lava overflowed out of the volcano? That is so cool! When a volcano erupts, even a small one like ours, it reminds us of how powerful the things are that Allah created. But Allah is the most powerful of all because He created it. Did you know that Allah is the only one that knows when a volcano was going to erupt? Allah says in the Quran, <laughs> Indeed, Allah is knowing of all things. That's an example of one of Allah's 99 names. Al-Alim, the all-knowing. And just like that, we believe in Allah, even though we can't see him, but we see his creation all around us. So what did the science experiment teach us? Hmm, it taught us, one, science helps us discover Allah's creation. Two, Allah made everything with a purpose even the things we can't see. And three, nature is so powerful, but Allah is the most powerful of all because he created it. So next time you see something in nature that is so powerful, like thunder or rain, you can say, SubhanAllah. It's quiz time! Let's see if you can get all of these questions correct. Question number one. What is magma called 
when it comes flowing out of the volcano? A. Red stuff. B. Lava. Or C. Grass. What is magma called when it flows out of the volcano? If you said B, lava, you're correct. Good job. What did one volcano say to another? I love you. <laughs> Question number two. What is creating the pressure inside of the volcano? Is it A, bugs, B, flowers, or C, heat? Hmm. What is creating the pressure inside of the volcano? If you said C, heat, you're correct! Good work! You rock! Question number three. What is Allah's name, the all-knowing? Is it A, Ar-Rahman, B, Most Beautiful, or C, Al-Alim? What is Allah's name, the all-knowing? If you said C, Al Alim, you're correct. Good job. I can't wait until next time so we can explore more of Allah's creation. Assalamu alaikum. Let's do a drawing activity. You'll need something to draw with and something to draw on. Let's draw a volcano. I'm going to show you how I draw my volcano. I'm going to draw an opening at the top and then I'm going to add ridges because that reminds me of a mountain. Then I'm going to fill in my volcano with the color brown because brown reminds me of a volcano. But volcanoes also come in different colors. Next, I'm going to grab the color orange and red because that reminds me of lava. And the lava is going to be flowing down the volcano and then it's going to shoot out everywhere. And sometimes volcanoes also shoot out rocks and ash and smoke. And I'm gonna add more and more lava. And that's my volcano. Let's check out some of your volcanoes. <laughs> 